seven different styles that goes well in tattoo sleeves. The first one, Greek designs. And I'm not talking about goat cheese or stuff like that. I'm talking about Greek culture, Greek inheritance and Greek mythology. These terms go really well in especially black and gray, realistic tattoo sleeves and designs. They do that because the buildings, sculptures, statues, everything related to the Greek history, beautiful. And statues especially can be photographed, redrawn or recreated with so many different angles where they will always look nice. And what's also really cool about these motifs and having them in a tattoo sleeve is that they can build depth and also they can create a lot of cool contrast. Whether you want a feminine thing like Medusa, if you want some crazy cool stuff like Hercules or whatever or Poseidon, you can do so many cool things with the Greek heritage and Greek mythology in tattoo sleeve designs. Another topic or theme that works really well in a larger scale tattoo such as a sleeve is anime. Anime is a big topic. We've covered it before on the channel. Anime works really cool because you can connect it all and basically you can build a whole manga universe on your entire arm. I've seen some crazy cool stuff out there. Also, I think it's super cool that you have the opportunity to pick whether you want one character, one universe, or whether you want a multiverse on your favorite characters from different themes or different uh, branches or whatever we call them. For example, you could go with a complete Dragon Ball theme on your entire arm, or you could do a combo of Dragon Ball, Naruto, One Piece, and so on. What's also cool with them is that you can apply a lot of colors and you can put so many colors into this universe. And I know all tattoo sleeves are unique. I think with this style especially, you can do so much cool, unique stuff about it. It can be your favorite character and your favorite pose, so it can be something that you fell in love with in, in your favorite show that you want on your tattoos. And I think that's, that's pretty cool and pretty unique about this style. Also, I think it's pretty cool since anime is anime. It's basically drawn. It's very cool to have a drawn character drawn on your skin. So it basically is kind of a one-on-one, -on -one, you know? What you see in your favorite show is also what you get Another classic, angels and demons, or one of them. I've seen some cool stuff out there where you build a angel universe on the top part of the sleeve and you build a demon theme on the lower part and it will be, you know, good versus bad or angel versus demon. I've also seen people with one good, one bad, one angel, one demon. And you can build so much on it. You can have something that is very brutal, basically. You can have a fight between good and bad or you can have just a... Uh, the contrast between good and bad. And I think you can put a lot of um, meaning into it as well because I think I'm a good guy, but I also have some, you know, bad guy things now and then. And I think we all do. And I think for some people, they can put a lot of stories and reflection and history from their, their past into a tattoo like this or something they want for the future into a design like this. So I think it's a pretty cool theme. The next one is called Patchwork. That's at least what we call it in this video. And it's also a kind of sleeve. Someone out there would probably argue against it, but I tend to call it a sleeve. It's just not a compact sleeve that you, you know, cover your entire arm with. Patchwork tattoos is from the word itself. I think I can sometimes look like a piece of patchwork. Patchwork tattoos or patchwork sleeves are sleeves built on various smaller tattoos that basically look like patches applied to your skin. You can do patchwork sleeves with basically anything. I personally like it because I can always look at my tattoos and see what they are individually. Sometimes it's difficult for me to see with a sleeve, what is this, what is that? But I will also say when I see the entire universe and if the sleeve is well proportioned and built, hands down, super cool stuff. So patchwork sleeves is also cool if you are not sure about you wanting a sleeve, can start with something small and you can always build onto it. You can put gap fillers in between like a coffee mug or a little piece of lettering or whatever you want. So patchworks are super cool ways if you ask me. It's also something we've seen a lot because back in the days when sleeves weren't a thing, people would get smaller tattoos and then suddenly they would get a lot of smaller tattoos and then they ended up having what we call a patchwork sleeve. Back in the days, you often saw them as traditional or old school sleeves where people got various traditional designs and then they would get small dots or stars or anchors or something like that in between. But today it's more than that. Today you can do patchwork or sleeves like these with all kinds of tattoo styles. Super cool style if you ask me and it allows for you to pick multiple 
designs multiple meanings in your sleeve without building one entire universe. Next one is a feminine one, or at least it can work really well for women. It's floral sleeves, floral designs. You can go full botanic and get a nice sleeve with flowers, but you can kind of make it so it looks like shapes and patterns while it's still flowers. You can work geometric, you can, do it, you can work with so many things in these floral tattoo designs and basically you can decide how heavy you want them or how light you want them. Because the cool thing with these tattoos and sleeves is that a flower can consist few long tiny strokes or it can be very compact, it can be roses with a lot of leaves and it can be compact. So you can basically do this tattoo style in sleeves in so many ways. What causes the popularity in these designs is that it's light for the eye, it doesn't look too heavy and when you see someone with it it's not like you think oh that guy, is, that guy or girl she has a very bold panther. No, she has something very feminine, something very light and something that kind of looks like a piece of jewelry or an accessory or even a dress more than it looks like a big ass tattoo. Floral tattoos, if you ask me, it's a cool setup. It's a cool way to get a full sleeve without it being too heavy for the eye. Also, a really cool one that goes very well in both colors and black and gray and in various tattoo style, it's what we call Savannah. When I say Savannah, I'm talking about wildlife. I'm talking about lions, tigers, giraffes, elephants, stuff like that. I'm talking about building an, a landscape with these various animals in it. Of course, you can also have other natural elements like tree or a pond or whatever. There's not so many ponds in the savannah, but you can add that. So you can do this in many ways and you can have it portray something super calm or something wild. It can be a two lions fighting. It can be a giraffe drinking. You can do it in so many ways to show that you have not necessarily crazy love, but you have feelings for the nature and you think these animals are beautiful, which they are. So I think this is a cool theme and you can of course do animal themes in various other styles, but we're going to talk about those in later videos. The last one is also one of my favorites. You can do a superhero themed tattoo sleeve. I've seen some dope stuff out there with Batman fighting Superman or with the Avengers or any superhero can basically work really well in a tattoo sleeve. Cool thing is that they work really well in colors in black and gray. They work really well in not anime especially, but kind of cartoon-ish style. They work really well in pretty much all styles. And you can combine it the same way with anime. You can combine multiple themes or you can do one. You can do, say, Gotham with Batman and the Penguin and everyone that you like from the Batman series. You can have the Joker, you can have Batgirl, you can do whatever you want. Or you can pick multiple that you like. You can also do like me and pick your favorite character from Lego movie and pick Lego Batman. It's not a sleeve though, but you can use superheroes in so many ways and they can be angry, they can be fighting, they can be funny, they can be anything you like. And that's why I like this style so much because you can, as with the other styles, you can pick what you love from one character or one series and add it to your tattoo with your own meaning and with your own style. These were seven ideas for themes or motifs that works really well in a tattoo sleeve design. If you would like to see more or if you have any cool suggestions you would like us to cover in future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. Remember to ring the bell, share it, like it, and most importantly, subscribe so you can see our other videos here from Sorimom. Thank you for watching and take care.